care. Now, our governor has said hospitals, they can expand to make sure they've got enough beds for patients if the spread worsens. But beds aren't the problem right now. It's nurses. As 10 Tampa Bay's Leah Fernandez found out, our southern counties especially are seeing that staffing shortage. In Manatee County, there are only 15 ICU beds left available. We've noticed that uptick and the decrease of bed availability. Now, all three hospitals do have space for those additional patients. Unfortunately, they do not have the staffing for that. At Blake Medical Center, they have zero ICU beds. And over at Manatee Memorial, they only have three. They both have more physical beds, but can't use them for ICU without more nurses. So they've asked the state for help. The Florida Department of Emergency Management um, they are working to assist the hospitals with bringing in additional staff. In total, the county has requested 123 extra nurses and respiratory therapists. Manatee Memorial needs 34, Blake Medical 56, and Lakewood Ranch Medical needs 33. That will lead to more ICU openings. The good news is we've got uh, nurses that have started working over the last couple of weeks and are starting to help. So once we deploy those nurses, we will have the ability to open up additional beds. We had six that came from FEMA. We also had four respiratory therapists and some certified nurse assistants as well. Public Safety Director Jacob Sauer says staffing isn't the only shortage Manatee hospitals have had to face during this pandemic. Manatee Memorial says they have enough ventilators as of now, but at Blake Medical, there's only one left. Hospitals are working to convert anesthesia machines to ventilators, as well as requesting more from the state. Additionally, Florida Department of Emergency Management has sent us 12 ventilators to our public safety department that we can have on hand in case we get low again, we can divvy those out to the uh, three hospitals within the system. Now, neighboring hospitals have also been pitching in to help. The CEO of Manatee Memorial tells us they've rented out their ventilators to other hospitals in need and vice versa. Now, as far as PPE and having enough, both Sarasota and Memorial Hospitals say they've got that covered.